Good day guys, it's Peter and only behind the camera together we are two hungry diners Guys, we are in Box Hill and we are taking you to a food tour in Box Hill We are trying out the best, the best Chinese food here in Box Hill If you haven't already guys, subscribe to our awesome awesome channel Let's go! It may not have the flashy neon of Chinatown but what's happening in Box Hill is drool worthy Box Hill, a suburb located in southeast part of Melbourne and only 20 minutes drive from Melbourne CBD could be the most overlooked destination for Asian food. Everywhere you look, there are queues of diners spilling out of restaurants hungry and waiting to feast on the endless array of authentic Asian gastronomy. While the foods of Japan, Korea, Malaysia and Vietnam are well represented, it is regional Chinese food styles that are particularly exciting. From Sansi cooking to Sichuan food to Shandong food, this patch of Melbourne is so amazing that you should make it a whole day out and go on a crazy Asian food adventure. We are at the first location. This is roast duck in in Box Hill, and we order their perfectly roasted duck with crispy skin that is always perfect every single time. Look at this skin, guys! Oh my God! That the skin is glistening. This is the half duck. We order only half duck and the portion looks super huge. I can't wait to try this. Let's go. Let's dig in. Mm. I think the hero is obviously the skin is super crispy, quite fatty as well. And I really love the meat as well. It's soft tender it's not tough at all mm. I'm gonna try with the sauce here mm. the sauce is sweet kind of sour as well a bit tangy perfect pair with the duck absolutely delicious guys the meat is extremely tender and that crispy skin is honestly perfect it's full of flavor and wow can't fall it can't fall it this is probably one of the best roast duck here in melbourne but apart from that we also ordered the shoe yolk the crispy roast pork this is one serve and they slice it quite thinly i prefer it a bit more like thicker slice but let's try it it looks amazing as well look at this look at this fatty part here mm. okay really like it guys the meat is again tender is is seasoned really really perfectly i like the fatty part and this that crispy skin is amazing but again you have to go for the duck because the name of the restaurant is roast duck in of course the hero and the champion of the dish is the duck so go for the duck look at guys i hit the jackpot here oh my god skin only oh this is gonna be really really nice Man. super crispy super fatty but so damn good Our next location, this is David and Kemi Dumpling Restaurants. We have been here a couple of times in the past and we love their dumplings. They are affordable, delicious, no frills, service is very quick, amazing dumplings. And for today, we ordered two different types of dumplings, the fried one and the steamed one. For the steamed one, we ordered the chicken and prawn dumpling. And the fat one, we ordered the beef dumpling. Let's try them out. <laughs> I've prepared the chili oil uh, combined with the vinegar. That chili oil, guys. Oh, looking so good. Smells really nice. Let's try with the dumpling. Ah. Mm, really love the uh, steamed chicken and prawn here. It's uh, well seasoned. But honestly, I'm not a big fan of the thick skin dumpling here but still one of the best dumpling you can find in box hill i think i more re recommend you guys to try the fried dumpling which i'm gonna try next still delicious mm. Mm. this is the bomb 
chili oil is so good. Alright, let's try the fried dumpling. This is the beef fried picking dumpling. Oh, looks very nice and crispy. The skin is so much better than the steam one. The skin has the right thickness. It's not too thin, it's not too thick as well. And the beef, honestly, I can't complain much. It's well seasoned, everything is just humble dumplings, delicious, cheap, affordable. Cannot complain at all. Really good. Mm. Love the crispiness at the bottom of this uh, dumpling skin, guys. Oh, amazing. We are inside of the Box Hill Central right now and there are plenty of food options here because this is like a food court as well and yes, there are a lot of Chinese food options but one that I always find interesting is a stall called Rainbow uh, because they sell like a Chinese um, snacks and they have a lot of like fried stuff and we've got a couple of um, Chinese snacks here Today I have the pork intestine skewer and also the Taiwanese sausage and we also order the chicken burek which is like a Chinese uh, pancake but inside it's like the chicken mince and this one is the spring onion pancake okay let's try this pork intestine skewer oh <laughs> I love the pork intestine guys it's crispy the cumin flavor is super strong so if you're not a fan of cumin flavor so I, I suggest avoid this one Okay, this is also one of my favorite Taiwanese sausage. I like the Taiwanese sausage because it's sweet. Even though it's savory, it has like a hint of sweetness as well. All right, this is they call chicken burek, but this is almost like a, um, a big Chinese dumpling. And let's cut it open. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. Wow. Generous size of the chicken mince inside. Really like the dough is stretchy and it has like, it's not plain at all, it has like a bit of flavor. But the chicken mince is obviously you can taste like a bit of ginger, spring onion in there. The portion is quite generous for $4.20. And yeah, I mean it's juicy, tender, really like it guys. Mm. It's been a long time I haven't visited this uh, rainbow chicken. I remember I had it before, long, long time ago. If you want to try other skewers, they also have a lot of options there. Chicken skewer, lamb skewers, uh, oxtang skewers. This place is a great place to have a quick bite when you are feeling a bit hungry uh, in Box Hill Central. Yeah, go to rainbow chicken, guys. The outer skin is still crispy and the dough is quite chewy. It's, it's very enjoyable to bite into this uh, dough. It's really nice as well. Uh, has got a good amount of spring onion in the dough. Oh, very aromatic. For the price, it's super big. Mm. Also perfect with the soy milk. Mm. Oh. Man, less than $5. at our next location this is Sun Sea style restaurant so this is restaurant that serves Sun Sea style cuisine and yes in front of us we order a couple of um, dishes here and this is the Sun Sea special biang biang noodle we also order the pork sandwich this is like a Chinese style burger and we also order another one which is the cumin beef in case you didn't know, from what we read, Sansi is a province in China and they are very popular of their Biang Biang noodles. They also serve other cuisine, but the Biang Biang noodle is obviously the most popular one. The characteristic of the Biang Biang noodle is white, thick, and it's handmade and very stretchy as well. And yeah, there are a couple of styles, but this one here with different toppings. So the way we're gonna eat it, we're gonna mix it up uh, with the noodles and the toppings as well. Oh, they also, uh, the Shanxi province is also very close to Sichuan, so that's why you can see some of like chili here. This is monstrous portion, right? <laughs> mm. I really love the texture of the noodle, guys. It's quite stretchy and it's quite bouncy as well. And I love uh, the kick that I've got from the chili as well. The rest, I haven't got the, the meat as well, but I'm gonna try it now. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
It's quite salty, so you're gonna mix it really well with the noodles. The more you mix it, the tastier it becomes because like all the sauces, now all the noodles have been covered with the sauces. Wow, you can taste every single thing in here like the meat and the veggies as well. I think it's very healthy <laughs> because you've got everything. But suddenly the portion is quite huge. Really like it guys. Let me grab another bite. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, a lot of people recommend the sandwich here because they are amazing. So we ordered two of the uh, sandwiches here, the pork one and the cumin beef. They also have other uh, flavor as well on the menu, but the pork one and the cumin beef are the one that recommended. So I'm gonna try the pork one. I really like the texture of the pork, guys. I think they mix it with the pulled pork and also like the fatty bits from the pork uh, skin. I really like the bread here as well, guys. It's toasty, it's quite crispy, and I believe the bread is kind of homemade as well. The pork is very flavorsome, and it's the, just the right balance, guys. Savory, umami, wow. This is for me, this is a cumin beef sandwich. I'm not too sure what the Chinese name is. It's quite hard to pronounce. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna leave the name down below. This one looks spicy because of the green chili and oh, the smell of the cumin. <laughs> it's very strong. <laughs> well, let's see if I like it because normally I'm uh, going to be struggle if I eat like strong cumin uh, smell and flavor in a dish. Let's see. Maybe I'm converted now because this cumin beef is super delicious guys. I'm surprised that I like it actually. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. That beef is so flavorful and combined with the green chili, it is amazing and spicy. Oh. But I really like it. I really like the addition of the green chili here and when you pair it with the cumin guys, amazing, amazing. Really love it. Okay guys, this is the last stop. We are going to have desserts. This is located inside the Box Hill Central. This is called uh, Grain Asians Dessert. As you can see, they sell, uh, I think, Hong Kong style pastry and everything looks really good. They serve the pastries here warm. We order four pastry. The first one here is the Pandan Kaya Paste Pastry. The second one is the egg yolk and lotus paste uh, pastry. Uh, third one, this is, I think this is called white cake, but uh, on the label they say this is the sweet melon cake. Of course, we have to get the egg tart. So, gotta try the egg tart while it's still warm. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Peter, this is so good. The extract here is using the kind of puff, puff pastry style, not the cookie based one. Out of the four pastries that we got today from the shop, oh, you guys have to try the egg tarts. The egg custard still warm and the egg tart, the tart, oh, still crunchy, still flaky. Oh. Oh my god, this is heaven. So good! Oh. I also love the pandan kaya paste and the egg yolk and lotus paste. These two are great. I don't think I'm a fan of this white cake. I think I've tasted a better one in the other place. So you can skip this one, but you cannot skip the egg tarts because the egg tart is so damn good. Apart from the pastries, this shop also sells uh, Asian drinks, pre-made Asian drinks. Since today is a hot weather, so I ordered this uh, Osmentus and Jujube tea. Mm. I can see they also sell mango pudding, uh, mango sago, taro sago drink. They look all interesting to me, but yeah, I, I reckon this is gonna be very refreshing. Ooh, a bit too sweet for me, but still good. Mm. 
Alright guys, that's the end of our video. The best and must try Chinese food in Box Hill. I hope you guys enjoy this video and see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Stay foolish, stay hungry!